hello everyone welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here thanks for stopping by for my subscribers thank you so much for the love and support thank you for always coming back today we'll be learning how to make this raw food hem satin bonnet and we're going to do it in few easy steps even if you haven't made one before you can make one today it's as easy as that let's get started so today we're learning how to make the ruffled hem satin bonnet. First of all, we need a square of Ankara fabric. I've cut this square out already. And the, me the measurement for my square is 26 by 26. 26 inches on both sides. 26 by 26. I'm folding it in half and then folding it in half again and then i have a square like this i've done exactly the same thing to my satin fabric which is going to serve as my lining so i'm placing it on top of each other like this and from the closed corner this part that is closed from this closed corner i'm going to be doing my markings so i'm starting from this corner and I'm measuring across 13 inches, doing the same thing, rotating my tape 13 inches, going across it 13 inches all around my fabric. I'm doing 13 inches now. I'm just going ahead and use my chalk to join the markings together, and then I'll be cutting on this mark line after cutting it i have two circles two full circles I'm facing the right side together right side to right side the next thing we want to do now is to stitch around this circle we're stitching around this circle so we're going to the sewing machine and joining this circle together and while we are joining we're going to be leaving a small gap measuring about one to two inches because that's where we'll be turning out from i finished joining it now i used a 0.5 inch sewing allowance to join it round. remember the space i asked us to leave here so i'm going to be turning it right side out from this space pushing it all out from this space and after I turn it out this is what I have this is what I have it's a clean circle on both sides what we want to do now to achieve our ruffled hem is to now go and sew on our right side of the fabric we are going to be sewing now on this right side of the fabric this is what we need to measure we need two measurements first of all we need to take a measurement of you can take one inch or one and a half depending on how much you want the ruffle to be for this project I'll be taking one and a half inch this way and I'll be taking the one and a half inch round the circle and then I'll be taking another three quarter inch here as my second stitch to go round in the same direction this three quarter inch is where my elastic will be fitting into while this one and a half inch is going to serve as my ruffle i'll stitch the two circles quickly and then show us now i finished stitching the lines that i set first of all the first one was three quarter inches away from this hem and then um this was one and a half inches away and then this small one was three quarter inches away 
please note that on the first line i left a two inches gap that's what we're going to be passing our elastic through to the casing because this small line this is our elastic casing so now i have my elastic measuring 23 inches and i'm getting my safety pin and passing it into the elastic casing from this opening passing it through the elastic casing I'll be pinning down this point so that it doesn't fall into the old casing I'll just pin it out to secure it and then I'll go ahead and pass my elastic around the casing the ruffles are already forming I'm sure we can see that the ruffles are already forming remember that I said if you want your ruffles to be bigger you can make them bigger and if you want them smaller you can make them smaller this will be determined by how many inches you stitch down from your hemline so I'm just passing this through to the other side passing it and adjusting it And now it's out, it's out, and I can take off my pin. I take off my pin, and then I'll be tying the two ends together in a knot. Tying it together in a knot to secure it. You have to do this carefully, because if you release it suddenly, the elastic will go back into the casing and you have to start all over again so yes i'm tying the knot and i'm making it really tight you can chop off a little bit of this excess if you want and then we can release it and adjust our bonnet appropriately this is what our bonnet looks like now it has the ruffles at the end the two last things we need to do is to close this you can either close it using hand stitch or you can close it with your sewing machine but for the purpose of this tutorial i'll just pin it down so that we see what the finished work looks like i'll just pin this down for us to see this down so this is an idea of what our elastic bonnets this is an idea of what our elastic bonnet looks like thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and don't forget to share see you next time